practice and everything. Hello everyone, welcome to another video. So, as the Creed, and no, this is not a D&D game, no. You have requested of me for some time now to check out the um, Gold Inquisitor prologue video, and uh, of course I will buy to do so. Uh, but I couldn't help myself but to check the description. Um, it is made by Warp Gazer, um, which appeared to be an entire team led by this guy called Erasmus Brodo. Brosdo. Where is he from? Canada or like Switzerland? It sounds almost French in a way, but nevertheless, um, it's a whole team that made this. But I was asked, or at least told, to temper my expectations because this is supposedly just a single thing. I'm wondering, is this uh, an out-of-season April Fool's joke? They did not work on more. It's unfortunate, but that usually is something that happens for artists who are not directly jumping into the, f I guess, like the fandom type of thing. Uh, I would believe that when somebody makes something like this, I quickly that like, glimpsed up on the channel uh, just to see what they had more of. Um, it kind of feels like something that they would just want to add to the resume. And perhaps, I can't say I haven't watched the video yet, but um, like Warhammer things would be easier to do. You have chosen death. I may regret saying this comment, <laughs> but yeah, with that said though, uh, even a good comment that was left there by Bruva Alpha Booza himself, the creator of the TTS series, mentioned that they could have done a lot better if they were given a budget for it or it were in works with uh, Games Workshop. Hopefully they were amongst the many teams that were announced recently um, to participate in the, the whole animation of the new series that are to come, but we can cross our fingers. But without further ado, let me stop blabbering and let's just enjoy this. Well, the video is going to be put in 1080p, but uh, we can always scale down it gives more quality. Alright. I wonder what software this is. Oh my. Okay. That's cool. Oh, is that sharp? Please tell me that he got the models and didn't have to sculpt them himself. Adding the meshes and everything. <laughs> Is that a mega city? Holy terror. Oh my. By the Emperor. Look, I am going to be stopping in this video. I tried not to do too much, but... No, not enough blessings will have my rig go through rendering these things. And this is just the beginning. I, okay, something like this can be done in Blender. I've tried to put some sceneries there. Um, there's this guy, a uh, very popular artist who gives like quick shortcuts on Blender. Who like gave a quick tip on how to like uh, pretty much change the topographies of pictures. Uh, to make them look like actual uh, 3D models, um, but I think that, that that's a possibility for this shot. But wow, just that beginning, the details. That's amazing. Inquisitor, we are ready to proceed. Time to start our own little procession. Let's pay our dear friend a visit. Wow. I like how they go down to the, like uh, the low level. Well, not low level, these are inquisitors we're talking about, but this is actually like, no, this is the upper level. 
these are not the uh, people who are struggling on, on the bottom of the food chain. Whoa. God. Put some respect on that art. <laughs> this is insane. Okay, I, I, I need to point something like real quick. I was amazed by Astartes because there was something just very good about the retributors uh, that that was depicted there. And one thing that I liked especially, which, like, I I guess for in terms of workflow, uh, for what he tried to do, is that since they are retributors, they are working in like smaller groups. So uh, it's a small unit. So you don't have this massive amount of people. Like, I I don't have a powerful rig. I'm like mid-tier, 2070 Super, and a, an okay good processor and a lot of RAM. Um, <laughs> but I would not wish upon my worst enemies to have to render all of this. Of course, it takes shots differently and put up different scenes, but... Ah... Uh, <laughs> the... When I when I like itch my ear, that that's me just trying to grasp something. That that's like a, a sign of it. You have a tell from me. <laughs> this is beautiful. Imperial Fist. You have such... Look at the life projection, like everything is so... It almost feels like they build up, they build a whole game fully functioning. Imagine having to, like, the controls for the rigs of all of these characters. <laughs> wow. Even the... Oh, there they are. The boys. Oh, Dreadnought. Who is our Lord Inquisitor then? Blow the hell. We just recently watched the previous episode. With the spanky monkey. If it isn't the Lord, ah, oh, Torquemada Cortez, Conquistador Inquisitor. Yeah, pretty much just a Warhammer of Spanish Inquisition. <laughs> wow. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> oh, 
okay. You're missing a glorious parade, Anchorite. Marcus, are we not done here? Surely the Arbitates can deal with this mess. <laughs> you would hand the spoils of our hunt to the Arbitrators. We have what we came for. Sentence him and be done with it. Hmm. Kaiba, what say you? Your choice, Inquisitor. Please, Inquisitor, I swear I have told you all that I know. <laughs> Please. <laughs> A trifle late for begging, wouldn't you think? Name your price. Name it. Seeking to bribe an agent of the Golden Throne? Shall I add sedition to your list of crimes? In the name of His Holy Majesty, the God Emperor of Man, I thrice judge thee excommunicate traitorous. By actions, by associations, and by beliefs. Your sentence is... Death. Death. If you have any last words, you may speak them now. We will ensure yeah, those implants that allow them to live longer. Inquisitor grants me mercy. <laughs> mercy, Ankara. I don't even know what mercy is. <laughs> it's all right. How old are you, Ankara? What? Your age. How many rejuvenate treatments have prolonged your unworthy existence? How many years have you spent polluting our throne world with your blasphemous breath? Three centuries? Four? <laughs> A rhetorical question, my friend. To illustrate the point, this sentence is long overdue! Oh no! <laughs> That to be continued that never continued. Oh man. Props to them man. 3D modeling. Of course he did so. So crazy. It's like a team of five people. I think I always like to make this analogy, like when you get at a certain position in life, work, um, like every step of the ladder has its own merit, of course, but like comparing a person with like a, um, a retail worker, I like to do that, so that it, it, it kind of makes you humble yourself to appreciate the, the work that people do. In the same manner, of course, they are not the same thing as, let's say, a high-ranking official or something. But the whole idea is to be able to relate to the amount of work that been put in here. And of course, I understand that maybe some uh, fans may be feeling like they've been cuckolded to the point of entry due to the fact that nothing new has been put in there. Which, by the way, man, that analogy was just... <laughs> What the hell, man? Uh, but the, the whole point is that, for example, as I've been uh, attempting to get, like post some stuff on the community page of me trying to learn how to work on digital art, and sculpting in Blender, using Cinema 4D for animations, and trying to do some renders here and there, just to see what, what the workflow is, it takes so much time. I mean, just rendering a single uh, a single animation the other day like took me like an hour. I I would not wish this upon anybody. <laughs> it's it's nice. It's almost overwhelming that it, it leaves you breathtaking. From the animations that I've seen so far, there are clearly some artistic differences. Like you have the more rigid movement that was showcased here. Excuse me. While in Astartes there was, uh, it, it felt a lot more fluid. Like um, even the armors did, did not clip into themselves. Like the displacement maps that were utilized to like, um, like to show the reflections and the, the depths of the materials. They work so well there. Of course, this is still beautiful, but you know what you can achieve when you have something that is smaller 
but of course just to give you the grand scale of what the Imperium is about this is by far the best representation visually that I have seen so far of course if you want to have something auditory you have to check out Voldemort and his uh, guides but this one was so cool and thank you so much for recommending this to me but guys hopefully you liked this video as much as I did and of course you know what to do hit that like button if you liked the video if you didn't give it a dislike I like some fair criticism also tell me if there was something in here that I did not see um, something that is lore related I like that I like to focus a lot on the lore learning more about the Inquisition um, just overall about 40k before I one day also decide to uh, jump in and uh, actually play a physical game of it um, I know some people have been asking me for it but I'm not into it yet uh, as far I don't quite have the time unfortunately so as for now I just stick around I just stick to uh, the thing that I find most enjoyable into this franchise and this community but thank you guys so much and if you're new to the channel of course subscribe and I see you guys next time bye